Hello, today I am making uh, stuffed peppers. I don't know if I've ever had it on this channel before, but today I'm like, look at all these beautiful, colorful peppers. I'm gonna show you how to do it the fast way, cause you can do it to where you can put it in your pot and just let it simmer all day long on slow and not cook the meat. Or you can do it, because I'm gonna. I'm getting a late start, it's four o'clock, I just got done swimming, tanning, I'm getting my tan on, getting my swim on. So, let's see. Okay, the first thing you do is saute the, getting scattered here. Saute whatever you want inside the stuffed peppers. So I've got mushrooms, onions, two different kinds of onions, mushrooms, um, and that's all I'm gonna put in there. And then uh, organic ground beef. So like I said, if you want to speed up the process, you need to saute, first saute the, the onions and mushrooms. Get that going. Let me pull it down so you can see. Okay, so saute the onions, mushrooms, I always just put it on medium because it's a gas stove. I put a ton of olive oil in there because olive oil is the best in my eyes. Use whatever oil you like, but I like olive oil. So then I'm going to, because I want to speed the process up, 4 o'clock, I want to eat dinner by 5, this is what I got to do. So this is just an organic ground beef. You can also put buffalo. I've been eating a lot of bison. Delicious. That is nutritious and delicious and less fat. But we all need protein. So get your protein however you can. All right. So just after the everything has been sauteed, the onions, the mushrooms, now get the meat in there. Put whatever seasonings you like. I like oregano. That's the beautiful thing about being your own chef. You get it, put it, spice it however you like. I like black truffle. I like truffle, parmesan, and black garlic. Depends on what you're cooking. So this is more of an Italian dish. So I'm going to put in here a little bit of Rachel Ray, 24 every day. Wouldn't we want to be 24 every day? What? That sounds like the perfect solution. So I'm 24 every day. Okay, so get this going. Meantime, I've got this beautiful pan of all these peppers. Wash them. I'm going to put them in here and wash them. So wash them up real good. And then I'm just going to cut the stems off of them. Just like this. Try to save as much as you can so you don't cut the whole pepper. And then dig in there and get all this out without making a hole in your pepper. So that's what it looks like. And we are going to stuff these bad boys with what's cooking right here. Dalish. If you want to give it a, a head start as well, you can always... Put these on the grill and fire off the skins. I'm gonna do that with one, because you know that skin that's always so hard. Fire it off, burn it off, take it off, and then they get done faster. You don't have to wait so long to eat them. You know, just like you would on the barbecue, roasting red peppers or anything like that. That's the beautiful thing about having a gas stove that I never knew about until this house. Just fire the skins off. Roast those bad boys. Oops. 
I just knocked the cover off of it. Oopsie daisy! Oh well, I'll take it off. Actually, it's better if it's taken off, really. Then you can fire them faster. You know, roasted peppers are always bomb. So roast those. Be careful though, because that's like a torch. When you take the cover off like that, it's like a torch, literally. Kind of fun though, I would say. So torch those bad boys up. Get them on there. And then what that will do is you'll be able to take that hard skin off on the outside. Any of you that have di like digestion issues or anything like that, can't have that hard skin on the outside of the peppers. That's why you get heartburn. Because it doesn't digest very well. So if you just roast them off and then get them off, bam, you're left with the inside that's soft. Okay. Just keep them on there. It literally sounds like a torch. Love it. Oh, you know what? Creme brulee. I've always wanted one of those torches so you could do the creme brulee. I could just do the creme brulee right here. Be careful. It's so hot. And if one falls in like it did there, turn it off, obviously, because holy Toledo's. But look, and now what I'm talking about is this outside skin right here. You'll be able to just pull it off once it's torched. It's not quite there yet. And there we go. Okay, so now I just take a pan like this. I put this in the bottom of the pan because I'm going to make it like a spaghetti sauce. And then the peppers are going to fit inside of here. So this is just roasted garlic sauce. Let's make a pan of that. So I always chop and the tops of these. I, t I, ch I don't waste anything, waste not, want not. I'm a big uh, frugal person, or I just, I'm cutting the tops of these and throwing them in the meat mixture. Because let's face it, why not have the peppers inside of the pepper dish? Because this is all good, healthy, delicious satisfying nutrition. Let's get real. You don't want to waste anything. Don't throw anything away unless you absolutely have to. I know this is going to be gross to probably some of you, but I'm going to spill the beans. I even, I'm going to be real. I take this garbage out and I dump the whole garbage, but I, I use like this liner two or three or four or five times as long as nothing has spilled inside of it. Because think about how much money we spend just even on garbage bags. It's kind of foolish to me to just waste your money, even though you have it. Do you ever wonder how people become millionaires, billionaires? They become millionaire and billionaires because they stay frugal. Like I had an aunt and uncle, they'd go over to their house. And, oh my gosh, it looked like they were back in the 1960s with the furniture. They, they bought one house. They bought one set of furniture. Remember back in the day how it all matched and it was all that flowery brown stuff? And then literally, that's what they used their entire life until they died. And you would, you would walk in their house and literally think that they were so poor and you felt sorry for them. And, and my, my aunt and uncle would wear the same clothes over and over again. They had like several of the same outfits, like three of the same shirts, three of the same pants for my uncle. And they would just wash it and just wear it over and over and over. And then every time you came over there, not only did it look like they were poor, but you kind of were felt sorry for them a little bit. But then the more you got to talking to them and realized how amazing they were and how smart they were and how much they could teach you about life, and my aunt always had everything in her refrigerator to make anything you wanted. And I took that tip to my kids. I, she always could make um, banana splits, 
She always had bananas. She always had ice cream. She always made homemade jam. Oh my gosh. The, I still haven't found homemade jam like that. It was incredible. And then they just spent their life. And then my uncle would go fishing. They had a little creek down there. Uh, and he would go fishing for their food. And they always had gardens. And they lived off the land. And that's what I'm trying to get back to. Live off the land. Have a garden. Get solar if you can. And save your money. Even though tomorrow's not promised, I'm not saying to be that to that extreme. You don't have to be crazy. And I, I, I will always redecorate. That's just who I am. But there's other ways. Like garbage cans and not wasting the things you do have and eating leftovers and that kind of stuff that that, you know, that all helps. So anyway, that's done. And so I'll show you how it's all put together here in a minute. Okay, now I want to show you, I put feta cheese on the bottom of these. Roast them if you want, you don't have to. Fill them with that meat mixture. Really push it down so you can get a lot in there. These are still my son's favorite to this day. He loves them. So there you fill that up. And then I have a pan over here of that garlic basil sauce, like a spaghetti sauce. When I pour it in there, I get the rest. I put it about half a water and stir it around and then put that extra in there so I don't waste anything. And it also it raises it up higher. Again, feta and then stuff. You don't like feta, you can use Parmesan cheese, you can use mozzarella, or you could omit that all together. You don't have to, you don't even have to have it. And then I've got the pan of um, sauce just in there already warmed up. all of us okay that's better I was cutting myself off okay so stuff them in there I'm putting seven seven peppers in here in this pan of deliciousness and then because you roasted the sides and you pulled the skins off they'll cook faster because they won't be as hard, because then the inside will get cooked. That's a, that's a trick for faster peppers as well. Otherwise, you don't have to do that process. There's no have to's. You have to adjust your recipes. That's why I love cooking at home, because you get to, you, restaurants adjust the salt levels and everything, which is always too salty in my opinion. But I know why they do it, because they want you to love it, and everybody has different taste buds. So, here at home, and if there's any leftovers like this, then just lift up the pan, get all that greatness in there because you do not want to waste any part of this recipe because it is phenomenal, fabulous. Also, at the very end, so look at how amazing they look. So you just let the oven do its thing. Turn it on medium or low, depending on your time frame. And you let the stove do the work, or if you're in a hurry also, and you've got company coming over, you can put this in a square pan and bake it in the oven and pour a bunch of cheese over the top. And then when your company comes over, voila, this would be a perfect Easter dish. Stuffed peppers, Easter egg hunt. I mean, let's get real. This could be like the best stuffed pepper meal for your family ever. Start new traditions also. I think it's so important to, if you love a recipe and you wanna start making it your tradition for, you love it so much, you want it for Easter, then do it. Change it and make it everybody's favorite. You don't have to stick to lamb or whatever the tradition is. Do what you love. 
That's what you gotta do. And then everything extra here, bam, get that on there. That was all the extra cheese that I had on there. So thanks for watching. I love you for watching. Stay tuned because I'm posting every three days as per usual. And then comment and like down below and tell me what kind of summer videos you want. Let's get real. Do you want me to barbecue outside? I know you want bikini fashion shows, but you know what? I'll do the best I can. We'll see the regulations. So thanks for watching. Thanks for liking. Thanks for commenting. Thanks for subscribing. And I'll see you in the next video.